So today I'm talking about a P0722 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0722 code? Well, it's an output speed sensor circuit, no signal. And what does this mean? Well, basically modern transmissions can have a lot of sensors built into them. And one of these sensors is called the output speed sensor, which is basically just reporting back to the computer the speed that the output shaft is rotating. But when you get a P0722 code, the computer seeing some kind of issue with this sensor that it's not receiving a signal for some reason. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0722 code? Well, the first thing to do whenever you have any transmission problem, really, is go check your transmission fluid. Be sure that it's good, that it's not low or anything like this. Some vehicles nowadays, they no longer allow you to check the transmission fluid. So you may not be able to check it. But if you can, it's a good idea to go check it because low transmission fluid can cause issues with transmissions and it can just cause them to do weird things. So first thing to do, if possible, is go check your transmission fluid and be sure it's at the correct level. And the next thing that could cause this is that that output speed sensor has just gone bad. It just needs to be replaced. They will be located at the output shaft, but it can really vary if they're located on the outside or the inside of the transmission. If they're located on the outside, then it's fairly straightforward to go check it out, do tests on it, be sure it's working and things like this. But if they're located inside, you're going to have to drain the fluid, drop the pan, and things along these lines, which can be more difficult to do. And you will need to get a diagram where that sensor is located, because like I said, it will vary. It will depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this, whether or not it's located on the inside of the transmission or the outside. Once you locate that output speed sensor, there's some different ways to go about testing it. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can use that. You can also look up what the rated ohms are for that speed sensor, since again, there will be differences. But once you find the rated ohms that that speed sensor is supposed to be at, then you can check it. And if it's outside that range, then you know it's bad and you know it needs to be replaced. Thing, But the next thing that could cause this is a bad output speed sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the speed sensor. If there's any kind of problem inside that wiring, like an open or short, one of these connectors is not connected good or something like that, then that's going to cause problems. And again, you can use a multimeter. You will need to get schematics for your vehicle, but you can go through and test the wiring. Be sure there's no opens or shorts or anything like this, because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of internal transmission failure. And this would be something like a bad solenoid or a bad valve body or something like that. Basically anything that would stop that output speed sensor from working correctly. And usually if this is the problem, you're going to be getting a lot of other codes. So very likely you'd be getting like solenoid codes or clutch codes and just a whole lot of other codes. If you are getting a lot of other codes like that, that could also point to a wiring issue and the wiring harness going to the transmission. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of internal transmission failure. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of computer issue with like the transmission control module or the powertrain control module or something like this. This isn't too common and it's fairly rare. Usually when you have a P0722 code and there's not a lot of other codes, then it points to some kind of issue with the output speed sensor or the wiring going to it. But it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with like that transmission control module. If you do think it's a computer issue, be sure your battery's charged good, that the alternator's charging correctly, that the computer modules all have a good grounds going to them. Because all these computers, they need a good stable power supply or it can throw them off and cause them to do weird things. So if you do think it's a computer issue, be sure to check those things. But like I said, it's fairly rare for it to be a computer problem, but it does happen sometimes. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0722 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.